everyone, I'm rolling, okay? She worked. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy new year, new year, new tripod. Still working out the kinks, okay? So that's why I'm all the way down here. We're working on it, okay? Okay, and it has a little remote. I'm very excited. Anyways, let's just jump right in. I will be preparing cauliflower gnocchi three ways. Of course, hello, it's from Trader Joe's. If you haven't heard of it, you need to hop on the bandwagon ASAP. So we're gonna be making three really, really, really simple recipes with the cauliflower gnocchi all these ways. Well, two out of the three ways I've done before. The third way we are doing it together. I will be making a sausage cauliflower gnocchi saute, honey. And then we'll be doing like a cauliflower gnocchi toto soup. And then lastly, like a Cinnabon style, uh, Cinnabon style cauliflower gnocchi. Yeah, it might seem weird. That's one I haven't tried that we'll be doing together. I'm very excited about the new year, about this video. Just be warned that over half the video is done with a different tripod where I have literally so much trouble. Yeah, I mean, the troubles have not gone away completely. I'm literally like teetering on my toes, on my tingers, you know, like finger toes. Yeah, that makes me cute, doesn't it? I'm so excited. We're back with this apron. The Christmas apron is hung up for the season, honey. Crew neck of the day from Pixar Studios, none other than. Yes, let's jump right in. <gasps> So the first way we're gonna use the cauliflower gnocchi is in a saute. Super simple, super good. You can literally add whatever chazzle dazzle you want. It changes every time I make it for me. So you're seeing me make it one way, but that's how I'm making it today, which isn't always how I make it, okay? You'll see. So first I'm gonna start with a trusty pan. This is Rachel Ray, sponsor me. And some spray of choice. Mine is just extra EVOO, since we're on the Rachel Ray kick. E-V-O-O. -O. Okay, so this is really simple. All you need, if you're making exactly like how I'm making it, the staple product you need is the gnocchi, obviously. So, I already turned my pan on. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter however much I want. So that's in my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and let it sit for a minute, okay? Then I'm gonna turn it down to like a medium low. This is perfect. Like adding the lid works out really well because then the frozenness of the gnocchi, like what is that condensation? What is that? It like hits the lid and then comes back down. So it keeps the gnocchi soft, if that makes sense. Just making up my own stuff. Also, what I'm gonna be using is sausage. I am taking the hot Italian sausage. I had already cooked it up in advance. I took it out of the casing, sauteed it up. Here it is. I'm just gonna add that in there when it um, starts cooking through. This is really simple. I cannot express this enough. Like I'm literally just throwing it together. I love this journey for me and I love this journey for you. Oh. Jacket of the day. It's not Disney but it's still on brand because it's Mrs. Trader Joe's. Well, it's not Mrs. Trader Joe's, but it's Trader Joe's. So while that is starting to cook up, we're just rolling here. I'm gonna cut up some jalapeno. If you're already ahead of me, let me tell you what else I'll be using. I'll also be using frozen peas and I had mushrooms laying around, so I'm gonna use mushrooms as well. You can use whatever you want. There's been times where I use broccoli, zucchini, whatever you have on hand. Update, so the gnocchi's cooking. You can do a little like, oh my God, it's not Christmas anymore. I'm cutting up jalapeno. I keep the seeds in, if you're interested in knowing, because I, oh God, it's not good. Uh-oh. I'm gonna throw this in right when I am done. Just rough chop. Gonna add that in. So let me go ahead and give it a little like. Okay, 
please excuse the head cut off. I just wanted like the cutting board and my face to be in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw these in now because I kind of like when the mushrooms are cooked all the way through and are, ugh, I don't really wanna say this, but they're like not slimy. So it kind of like absorbs up that moisture. Lots of mushrooms. Also, another thing that I love about this, I cannot like express enough, is the fact that you can make it your own. Yes, but it's so healthy for you. Honestly, I mean, this tastes so similar to gnocchi in my opinion, and a serving is 140 calories, three grams of fat, no sugar. We're not gonna talk about the sodium, but why is there sodium in here? You know what I'm saying? Like you can really indulge and you really bulk it up with all of your vegetables. I'm always so full after eating this and I'm eating vegetables and sausage. So like I said, I already pre-cooked my sausage, but let me show you what it looks like if I have more. Sorry to burst your bubble. I actually don't have any more sausage. I was hoping to show you the container. I'll add a picture here somewhere of what I use. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and add the peas. Oh, I love peas. Oh, crap. Peas are so underrated. Okay, so I'm gonna add in like half of this of the sausage. That's literally it. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it is that easy. It's that easy. And I love making this. I'm hoping because the Italian, the spicy Italian sausage has so much flavor, I might not need to add as much seasoning. I never add salt, like add in salt to my food. Maybe I'll add some pepper, maybe some red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, but I'll usually do that at the end. So this is your own recipe, honey. We're just cooking together in the kitchen. <gasps> a lot of times too, I add onion. Onion is a game changer, like a white onion. I literally, oh my God, I used to eat this all the time. I would eat like a, a, whole, like a half of a whole white onion, like a half, and I'd put it in there. Don't ask me about my stomach, but. Hmm. Do you wanna see her? Let me show you. The saute, still going strong. Something you can also add, garlic. I was just too lazy to do it. Anywho, I came out here and still cooking. Just to let you know, you can also add a sauce. Highly recommend the Barilla makeup artist. Cool. <laughs> the Barilla Pesto Creamy Genovese. Geno Genovese? Geno Genovia? She's done. Let me show it to you. Look at that. Look at how cute she is. I'm talking about this, not about this. <laughs> I'll add some green onion to like spice on up, and that's it. That was literally it. A bowl for you. <gasps> wow. There it is. Let me try it. It's gonna be really hot. I'm gonna do it anyways. So good. I think it tastes like normal gnocchi. I'm gonna add some seasoning now to it. Maybe I'll add the salt-free onion and herb seasoning. Why did I do that? It like poofed right in my face. I'm gonna, oh my God, I almost died. Did you see that? I'm also gonna add the chili pepper sauce from Trader Joe's. The sauce isn't like a Tabasco or a Tapatio where it's like a, ch -ch, you know, and it's done. This is more of like a Valentina where it's like, Saucy. There you have it. Here is my lunch. Super easy. Stay tuned for the other recipes. Yes. Guess what? Mama forgot the apron upstairs. Mama's not going upstairs to get the apron. It's not happening. So no apron today, but Disney sweatshirt of the day. Disney socks of the day. Okay, so if you thought that the first recipe was simple, this is even simpler. We are making a toto soup with gnocchi in it. And when I say making toto soup, I mean we are pouring it into like a pan. I am using the low sodium. I don't know why it's low sodium, but I recommend the full blown sodium. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. And the gnocchi, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna use two cups of the toto soup because why not? I'm using my little Rachel Ray pan, like we discussed. Oh wow, she's thick. Okay, maybe like one and a half. Now, we're gonna turn on the heat. Like medium heat, I'm gonna let that simmer for a little before we drop the gnocchi in, because I don't wanna drop it into like an ice bath of soup. 
even though it's just room temp. I want it to be hot when I add the gnocchi in so it cooks faster and then I can eat it faster. You know what I love? I love how I'm always crooked. Does anyone else notice that? Or did I just like let everyone know that my tripod, I can never get even. So just know, just know when I'm crooked, I see it. She's being taken care of. New tripod will be on the way. Okay, my soup is, let me migrate you, shall we? Can you see that? She's sizzling. Yoki time. Okay, cool. So one cup is, um, one cup is literally like three gnocchi, but that's totally cool. Hi! Now we wait. Okay, so my gnocchi is cooking in the soup. I have some suggestions if you would like. You can add sausage to it. I've had sausage before, but because I used sausage in the first recipe, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna use it this time. And also my stomach has had some serious wreckage. So we wanna keep it simple. But <laughs> as I say that, guess what I'm gonna add? Behold! Italian bomba hot pepper sauce. So <laughs> Call me a fake fan. I have never had this. Never had it. And guess what? I'm going to try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try that for you. I'm putting it on a cracker. <laughs> Is my face turning red? Whoa. All right, this isn't for eating with a cracker. This is for like, chazzle dazzle Woo! that's amazing wow oh it's crushed chili peppers yeah maybe i should have read the label first like this is the real deal it's still like on my throat i'm totally adding this in as i just said my stomach has had some serious wreckage the past couple of days if you know you know if you don't know you're not gonna know let's check on the soup oh and if you want a timeline guess what i don't really have one for you i just kind of wing it I would recommend that if you can like put your fork through, that's how you know, I don't have a fork. Okay, so I took my spoon and I like, you can like slice it in half or take a fork. If you could pierce the gnocchi, then you know you're good. I'm totally adding this. I'm totally adding it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. It's done. Oh, you can also add spinach in here. If I have some, I'm adding it because I usually do add it, but I just don't know if I have any. Mm. There it is. My great, can't even see that. Here, let's bring you down here. There she is. Beautiful presentation. Okay, it was that simple. Two ingredients, three if you wanna add the bomba sauce. You can add whatever you want. You can add sausage, which I didn't do, I have, but I didn't do, um, spinach or avocado. Okay, that might be really weird. I really like tomato soup and avocado. Oh wow, I spilled a lot. Okay, well there you have that one. Let's move on to the last recipe. Okay, so the last recipe we're using, yes, this is the new tripod I was talking about in the intro, um, is the Cinnabon style cauliflower gnocchi. I'm very excited to try this. Okay, so very simple. We only need four things. We need Coconut oil spray, honestly, I don't even know like if any of this is really a requirement. So any spray, I'm gonna use coconut oil spray. The gnocchi, cinnamon, and I'm using brown sugar. I'm not gonna lie, the recipe calls for coconut sugar, but like who the f has coconut sugar? You know what I mean? I feel like, you know what? This is my style. My style is to use what I have. I just am not, I don't wanna go out of my way to buy all this sh to use one time, you know? So we are about being innovative here. And I'm gonna use brown sugar, but you can use white sugar. I just feel maybe the brown sugar will give it more like chazzle bezel. First, my Rachel Ray pan. Then, wow, it'd probably be good if you could see what I'm doing, yeah. And here's my face. So, I'm very excited about this. The first thing we're gonna do, spray. This spray, don't know where it's from. I'm gonna use a ton. I'm using a lot because it actually calls for coconut oil oil. I only have coconut oil spray, so that's what we are using. 
Um, it calls for like two tablespoons, but I'm just spraying the bottom. Like, do we really need that much oil? No. I'm gonna have the recipe linked down below. So if you actually are wanting to follow the real recipe, we can do that, but that's not what we do here on camera. She's on. High heat. Now I'm going to add, the, this is not working out. I'm gonna add about like a cup-ish. Hey! Hey! Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my gosh, she went pop, 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 honey. I can't get through one cooking video without there being some sort of finasco. Wow, this pan looks really small next to me. I look like an ogre. So it's pop, pop, pop in. You're just gonna cook the gnocchi like normal. And I almost wanna put the brown sugar and the cinnamon on more towards the end. So it kind of like glazes it, you know? Next. So we have a bowl. I'm gonna put brown sugar in, and then honestly, I don't even think the website said how much cinnamon to put in, so. Ah. I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of brown sugar, and I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle the cinnamon. Don't we love this? I love this journey for me. I don't know, like everyone I feel like just always has a giant like perfection stick up their butt. That's not me. One. So one tips. Oh, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but a lot of people have made comments about me saying tisp. Hello, educate yourself. Where, oh my God, I just put a piece of, like I literally just picked up a piece of lint and put it in that. Okay, in Sleeping Beauty, when the fairy is making the cake and she's like, one tisp of the stuff and then she's like fold in eggs and she literally puts the whole egg in there like in the shell and crushes it. That's what that is from. One tisp. And literally who has the time to say teaspoon? Not me. Okay, here is cinnamon. All the stuff you can get at Trader Joe's, obviously the gnocchi's from there. Everything else you can get from there. I just don't have it from there so I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy all of it. Okay, this has a little sprinkle sprinkle. So we're gonna do a little sprinkle sprinkle. I think that's good. Okay. I'm gonna add her. Here, let me migrate you so you can see. Oh wow, she's burning. Oh my God, this is not going as planned. Oh, it smells really good. Wow, do you see that like splatter? I think the brown sugar was a really good choice. Okay, I'm pulling it. So you know when it's ready, if you could put your whole fork through the gnocchi, okay? I usually keep it on like a medium. Definitely don't do what I did and like have the oil on high and then plop, plop the gnocchi in there. Look at that. It looks so good, it smells really good. Let me get a bowl. Honestly, I think what I'm most excited about is that this this isn't like the worst thing you can eat. I would, I'm sure this is better for you than like, a fat cinnamon roll. Pro tip that I just learned myself, make sure you fill your pan up with hot water ASAP because I could already tell like that sugar was gonna harden and that's not something you wanna deal with. Okay, so I just made a little bit. Look, it smells so good. Wow, you can kind of taste the cauliflower a little. A little, but if you're eating this gnocchi already, then I know you like cauliflower like gnocchi. It's not overpowering, you just, you, you know. And it's almost like, do you see the bubbles? Do you see all the bubbles? It's almost like it caramelized, like a creme brulee kind of thing, like how that top layer is torched. That's like what it's reminding me of. I wonder if I let it sit, if it would like harden. Wow, ah! oh, wow, we love successful recipes. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you loved all of the recipes. If you have a suggestion, please put it down below. I wanna see, doesn't mean I'll do it, but I would love to see what you have to suggest. Any recommendations, let me know. Anyways, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Check out my Instagram, Mrs. Trader Joe's, the baby. I also, new development. I made a TikTok. I'm really like, cool like the young kids um it's the same thing as my youtube maddie Jeremani. you'll be seeing tons of trader joe's things 
tons of Disney things, basically like the YouTube just in like mini form, mini video form. So definitely check that out because I will be doing things on there that I won't necessarily be doing on the YouTube. So check it out and I will see you 